hi Sagittarius, it's Ian Patsy, and I am doing your love bite for the time period between now and the uh, middle of October 2018, end of October, y'all know. Anyway, thank you all so much for allowing me to share these messages with you and the descriptions, including the authors of the cards that I'm using today, will be in the description box. So, we're going to first come from the Romance Angel Oracle. I'm going to get five cards. I hope everybody's been doing well. First card, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Always good advice. Mm -hmm. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, somebody's somebody is getting ready to go out and flirt, party. Someone is getting ready to come out of their cocoon. Sagittarius, you've been in a cocoon. Okay, so you need to get out, let people see you. This has to do with a marriage, a wedding. Okay, so maybe you are going to be going to a wedding and you'll be flirting. Mm -hmm. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. So maybe you are getting married. Hmm. Let go of control issues. Bottom of the deck, give your relationship a chance. All right, let's see what we can figure out what's happening here for you. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. Maybe some of you are feeling insecure in your in your marriage, in your relationship because you feel like your partner should only focus on you and not be flirting with other people. And this has to do with the way you were raised. This is your belief system. And they're saying that you should let go of control issues. That if you have more confidence in yourself, it won't bother you when your partner is being flirty Okay, this is, uh, okay, yeah, could be that. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's telling you to have more confidence in yourself. Don't allow yourself to be affected or diminished. By trying, excuse me, to control this behavior. Now, if you know that this is you who's doing this Sagittarius, you may want to think about how that makes your partner feel. But I'm thinking more that you are dealing with someone who flirts a lot or may be very popular. Okay, could be very popular, and maybe you're not comfortable 
with the people that they associate with. And this is because of issues surrounding a marriage. Saying let go of control issues. Let it flow naturally. Let this situation play itself out. Let's see if I can get something else from the kind of spirit of awful fear. You want to give some advice to Sagittarius this month in relationship to their love life? Please. Thank you, spirit. Number 28, release. That's for love yourself first. That's clarifying that. But that was in the reverse, so you need to release this self-doubt. Yeah, that's what you need to release this self-doubt. Have more confidence, and you haven't done that. Even though you've heard the messages telling you to put your fears aside and to worry about loving and taking care of yourself, you haven't released that. But it's advising you to do that. Clarifying for the flirt. Sending your lighthearted energy to others. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any more messages? Is that all you want them to do this month is release? Okay, so. Okay. The healer. I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. And that fell on top of her, the flirt. Okay. Maybe you have been cooped up and you haven't been out. And maybe they're telling you to get out. All right. Get out and be around people. Communicate with other people because there's healing. You bring healing to people when they come into contact with you, Sagittarius. People miss you when you haven't been expressing yourself, Sagittarius. That's also another message for some of you. When you don't, when they don't hear from you, when they don't see you, when you're missing from their day, their life, they miss you because you're healing. And a nurturing heart falls on top of wedding. So. A protective spirit, you are, I am a protective spirit and reach out to all with love and compassion. So, they see you as a loving person. They see you as a mother figure, a nurturing figure. I embrace the element of air and am open to all knowledge and wisdom. This is for religious factors. And last card, number 29, balance, let it go, control issues. Okay, so bottom of the deck is 22, Archangel Michael, number 22. Again, so this is about communication, communicating the truth, speaking up, releasing, being who you are, extending yourself, doing the work that you are supposed to be doing, healing, others giving advice mm. there may be some information that you are sharing that has to do with religion or spiritual belief systems so maybe hmm okay Uh, okay, so it came to me, someone is going to be performing a marriage for somebody, performing a religious ceremony, and they're nervous about it, just saying, let go of control issues, you got this, it'll be fine. So that's for somebody. 
someone might be asking to perform a wedding. Like a control issues. Yeah, this. There may be some. Religious discussion, some something that has to do with religion and your relationship. is being discussed something that has to do with your relationship and your your committed relationship or your marriage and maybe religious differences and maybe you've been talking about it with your partner and you are sharing and being open to new information and new experiences you could also be getting this information from from a parent from your mother Mm -hmm. Someone who is a mother, someone who is seen as a mother. Is involved in a committed relationship or is going to be getting married soon and there will be a lot of talk about this because of the religious factors religious could be political uh, racial spiritual educational age or, or any kind of differences like that And saying that it's going to be fine, it's going to be, it's, you're going, it's going to bring balance, right? And Sagittarius is about balance, patience, temperance. Of the way you look at things, right? Like the hangman, the way you perceive. So the way you perceive this situation is going to help you gain balance. By letting go of control issues, knowing who you are, showing up, all right, being yourself is going to be healing. And people are going to get to know you for who you are. And that is going to be spread, I guess discussed but it's going to be healing and it's going to allow you to feel balanced so maybe you're going to some environment could be attending like I said attending a wedding and maybe these are people or maybe you're around people I, I don't know but it has something to do with a mother and a wedding and religious factors maybe your mother maybe you were getting married and you didn't tell your mother that's what you didn't release because you were busy focusing on yourself and you were focusing on your healing and you forgot about your mother I don't know what I'm getting forgot about from but I think it's saying that you haven't been in contact with your mother. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so there's something that you're trying not to reveal to your mother, maybe? And so you haven't been in touch with her? And they're saying to go ahead. She looks forward to those calls from you and it's going to let you feel more balanced when you talk to her. For somebody there that came up. All right, from the numerology deck, number 19, Pride. This is for Love Yourself First. And New Beginnings on top of Healing and Flirt. The Healer and Flirt. Yeah, you need to start getting out. You haven't been out. Maybe it has something to do with your self-pride. Maybe you feel, maybe you, you know, you're not, confidence in, you're not having confidence in your appearance. Number two, patience. That's you. Patience. These new beginnings, this fell on top of wedding. Patience. So maybe you're telling you to wait. Forgiveness for religious factors and the air element. Okay, so maybe you're going to, okay, maybe you have a mother that is against your relationship and maybe that it has to do with religious factors and she will, there will be some forgiveness. And the last card, love falls on top of balance and let go of control issues. And number 40, 14, moderation. Okay, so there needs to be some compromise here in order to have a new start. There needs to be some patience, some compromise, some forgiveness in order for there to be balance. So let's see if we can figure this out. Love yourself first. Release. Okay, so... Turn that upside right. Pride, release. All right, so release is 28, that's 10. Pride is 19, that becomes 20, right? That reduces to 2 and 10, 12, 3. Okay, so. Love yourself first. Have pride in yourself. Release those things that do not serve my higher purpose with gratitude and love. So you're being told to put yourself first. Okay? Anything that doesn't serve your purpose, release it. Have pride in yourself what you've built and what you've accomplished, but things that don't serve you no more may need to be released. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, healing and new beginnings. So, eight, healing is eight, new beginnings is one, so messages from the ancestors. I am loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. Yeah, I think it's saying that you need to start getting out more. Getting out more. Maybe you have been getting out more. All right. New beginning. Socializing. Healing. Talking to people. is good for you. It's going to be good for you. Wedding. A nurturing heart. to a two. Patience is two. Foundation. Okay. All right. All right. So this marriage, this relationship is going to be founded on a lot of patience. This is going to take a lot of patience, but know that you are protected This is going to teach you 
about reaching out to all people with love and compassion. This may take a lot of patience in this relationship and a lot of nurturing in this marriage. This marriage and this relationship is going to call on you to be very patient and nurturing. Okay, thank you. Patient and nurturing towards somebody, towards the, your partner in this marriage. Hmm. Religious factors. I, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. 18, 1 and 8 is 9. 9 and 96. Five. So this is about love, forgiveness. Accepting, receiving, forgiveness. This is a twin flame relationship. The divine is guiding your communications and it's asking you to forgive, be patient and forgive that this is part of your spiritual lesson that's affecting this relationship. Love yourself first. Have pride and be grateful for this new beginning, knowing and understanding that you're going to have to have patience and you're going to have to be communicative and nurturing. Six. Again, love. 29 is balance. 29 is 11. 11 and 6 is 16. 16 is 7. No, 11 and 6 is 17. 1 and 7 is 8. Again, the divine is trying to bring balance for you in this love relationship and they want you to know that you can get let go of your control issues that there is love and balance here as long as you remember to be patient and nurturing in this relationship keep the lines of communication open be forgiving let go of control issues bring balance and love and 14 moderation so take your time no overindulgence in anything mm -hmm. all right so let's see what we can get from the all righty uh, whispers of love back and that's by angela hartfield and uh, Angelo Hartfield and Josephine Wall. Anyway, like I said, I'm just trying to hmm, consider your foundation. You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. Number five, fifty rather. So, ooh, Sagittarius. Sorry about that. So this is about change. Consider your foundation. Let's see what it said here. <laughs> 50. Hmm. Look at where you started. I heard that. Love means committing without guarantees. We give ourselves completely in the hope that love will be the lasting result. Love is an act of faith. Surround yourself with love and know that your love life will be better for it. So you have to have faith, okay? Nothing is guaranteed, even a twin flame relationship. Anything can happen because we all have free wills, but you can... You can bring balance to this relationship and healing. But most of all, this is about you being a healer for others. 
that people look forward to your presence and you should be proud of yourself. Okay. Release any doubt. Number 36, turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. So if you've been closed off, Sagittarius, you have forgotten the feeling because that was a way to protect yourself from the hurt. So maybe you don't, you're not enjoying just the being in love part of in love. Maybe you are, maybe there's a person that you are, are involved with and the problem may be some prior relationship that you may have had or they may have had that is keeping you from expressing or experiencing this love fully because you're focused on other energies, okay? And expectations and the hurt that you're being asked to get past. Okay, so the hurt that they're ex that they're asking you to get past. But this Hurt is also at the foundation of this relationship for you. And it's hard. You're having a hard time. Okay, you're having a hard time. You're forgiving it, but... Mm, okay, for someone, somebody, some of you, a percentage of you, by being forgiving of a hurt, of a past relationship that you are now rekindling. When you turned away from the pain, you also turned away from the love. And you associate those feelings with the hurt. So by burying the hurt, you buried the love with it. That's not good. All right, 36. Thinking of loving moments will enable you to open your heart. Take time to draw on a memory of love. Take time to draw on a memory of love reopens taking time. Sorry, people. Let me start this again. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. Thinking of loving moments will enable you to open your heart. Taking time to draw on a memory of love reopens and heals your heart to receiving love. It is important to keep your heart light on and broadcast your love out into the world. Right? Yes. Okay. So they want you to embrace the feelings that you have and be open with it. Let the world know that you found love, that you found love within yourself, and that you have found love with, outside of yourself with someone who you have had a relationship before, who you have forgiven. Be open about the hurt, open it up because that will not only heal you, it may heal someone else. It may heal others by you being open about the hurt and the confusion that goes with that. I guess they don't want me to get any more cards from that deck because it's hiding from me again. I want to get another one. For my Sagittarius, 
brothers and sisters, well, mainly sisters, <laughs> but whoever, don't forget to share these messages, even if they're not resonating with you, they may resonate with someone you know. Oh, listen to your heart. You're listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. They want you to pay attention to this message. Express your love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. This is just telling you how to build this relationship and the blockage that you may be having may be that you buried the hurt so far down, Sagittarius, that you can't retrieve the love from it that easily. But you will, because you're going to listen to your heart. And maybe, maybe, maybe you're going you're gonna to get a gift. Or maybe you're going to be giving someone a gift that is a way of you expressing your love, of trying to recall something from the past, a gift that recalls something from the past that you will, were reminded of, and so the gift that you gave or will give has something that reflects the past. Do something for someone else. This is for love. Give attention to someone else. Open your heart. Consider what it is that you really want. Listen to your heart. Share your gifts with your partner and with the rest of us. Thank you. Do something for somebody. And the last card that came. The physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or a hug to someone who needs it. So Sagittarius, you feeling that you need some physical contact with your boo, <laughs> with the person that you are involved with or that you want to be able to touch them. Sometimes a hug is exactly what is needed. As humans, the ability to connect with each other physically is important. Hand holding, kissing, embracing, giving back rubs, putting an arm around someone's shoulder, or simply placing a hand on someone's arm to show support are ways of expressing physical touch. I say very, very, very important to do that, especially for those of us who are empaths. You need sometimes, not too much, but you do need some. And if you're isolated and you're not getting any, it drains your, mm, it drains you. And that is your foundation, Sagittarius. Turn on your light to Hold on one moment, please. I got to put this on hold because this I got to take. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I'm back. Physical touch is important. Nothing, nothing is more important than a tender touch. So sad. I'm sorry. That messed up my train of thought entirely. Hmm. Let's see what the Until Today card has to say. Maybe it'll get me back. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's get some advice for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from the time period between now and the end of October 2018. Any further advice? Any confirmation? Oh, my goodness, no. Mm. Love is who I am and what I do. Until today, you may have been trying to figure out what love is and how to find it in your life. Just for today, be aware of and accept yourself as the expression and example of the love that you're seeking. So again, you are love, Sagittarius, and you have to love yourself first. You have to share yourself, your gifts, your energy with others, with the world, because you're healing. All right. And you are love. All right. And by you doing for others with your gifts and listening to your intuition, I have more than enough of what it takes to make it through the rough times and the tight places. Until today, you may have thought that what happens to you and around you determines the nature of who you are. Just for today, allow faith, joy, patience, and peace to be the character building tools that determine your approach to the experiences of life. So, your patience, and your faith, and your joy, those things that build you, your character, the parts of you that is the love that you are that people want to see more of that you need to bless the rest of us with Sagittarius all right you your touch your touch is healing your touch is healing So when you listen and you express yourself with love, you're sharing your gifts, you are touching someone, you're touching their heart, and those who are lucky enough to come in contact with you physically, in the physical sense, in the 3D, you're healing for them because love is what you do. You have more than enough to make it through the rough and the tight places, no matter what you're feeling right now. All right. Just keep listening to your heart, Sagittarius. And you will have a hug. You will have that hug for yourself. Being the love that you, you being the loving person that you are, is going to give you the confidence to know that you have all that it takes. That physical touch is important card is bothering me to no end. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ooh. Just because I love y'all. Let's see what we could get for that physical touch is important. I'm using the vice versa deck by Lunia Weatherstone. So, these cards have images on both sides, so there's no, I don't do the reversal like I would with a regular tarot card because the reversal is kind of built in. All right, so number 
10. The wheel. Oh. All right, let's see. And this here on the bottom of this deck is the Hierophant. Five and ten is fifteen. One and five is six. All right, so let's read this straight from the book since we have been led to do this. Let's see. Okay, so this is this front side. The wheel of fortune cannot be halted in its timeless turning. To be born is to be on the wheel. Two sides of this coin show two approaches to this inalterable fact. In other words, there's nothing you can do about the wheel. This side speaks of the great mysteries of the wheel, which can be pondered for lifetimes or many lifetimes and will never be fully comprehended. The Sphinx guards the secrets of destiny, accept and bring peace. Struggling to understand what is beyond mortal understanding will just bring despair. So again, go with the flow. Do what it is that, you are, that you're being drawn to do from your heart, listening to your heart. And this is part of your journey. And this is going to give you wisdom. This experience, this, this, this new turn, this new chapter is bringing you wisdom. And we have the Hierophant. This is the freedom of thought and possibilities. You've gone beyond merely questioning the precepts of religion. Now you are ready to challenge them or rebel against them. If this isn't a situation where religious teachings are relevant, think of another situation in which you're held in, being held back by thou shalt and consider your act, reconsider your actions. So maybe your uh, mm, the religious factors the religious factors you've been rebelling against religious factors religious something that has to do with your religion A message messages that have to do with religion the gift that you have Sagittarius the gift that you have the wheel of fortune has brought you a gift where you are going to be bringing messages of forgiveness You will be communicating about forgiveness. Your gift is going to help you communicate about forgiveness within relationships, within marriages. I got a ding. I guess that's what it is. So a new way of looking at things that's going to challenge standard religious doctrines regarding relationships and marriages, standard society doctrines or practices regarding relationships and marriages, doing something that shows your love for yourself, putting yourself first without worrying about religious doctrines. This relationship, this marriage, 
may be putting you in a situation where you are challenging societal norms about the way relationships look and the way they work. And it's telling you to go with the flow. Let go of control issues about that. Be yourself. Love yourself. Listen to your heart. And you have been given gifts that you can express yourself with. You have all the tools that you need in order to deal with this situation. Okay? So just put yourself first. Go after what it is that you love. Make sure that you are expressing yourself. Use your gifts in order to deal with this situation, with any issues from uh, outside sources that are causing you to need to have a lot of patience with some folk. <laughs> but this is number one. Listen to your heart. To your heart. Listen with your heart to what is being said to you. Okay? But listen with love in your heart. Pay attention. Have patience. Listen with love in your heart. Know that you are going to be doing something new. And it may or may not be well received, but it doesn't matter. This is about you loving yourself first and your happiness. Letting go of control issues and allowing yourself to be used by the divine through expressions, your gifts, the messages that you bring, that you share, through your healing touch, through your healing, through your words, your actions, is going to help you get through this situation. Your actions are going to be speaking to The people who see you and hear your messages and see your actions are going to understand that it's okay to question these societal or religious dogmas that may have them stuck or you stuck. So it's like you're going to be an example to others. Okay, an example to others, this is what you are going to be doing. This is what the Wheel of Fortune has dealt you. To be an example to others and listen to with your heart. Express your love through your gifts, doing things for other people. All right, and you're touching others. Touching others with your messages, and it's important, and it's been appreciated. And that's why you're being given these gifts of knowledge. It's going to be okay, Sagittarius. Everything's going to work out fine. First, love yourself first, and listen to your heart. Follow your dreams. Okay? So Sagittarius, thank you very much for allowing me to bring these messages to you. If you would like further clarification, you can send an email to pbtarot7 and we can uh, give you a personal reading. Um, also, make sure that you subscribe and share. Don't forget to like. Please leave comments. I'd like to, I love it when you all tell me that these messages resonate. It helps me more than you could even un understand or imagine, okay? So I love you all so very much, Sagittarius. And you have a wonderful, wonderful month. And don't forget to check out your generals, and I'll be talking to you soon. Ashe. Peace.